Hello everybody and welcome. Today's comfy build will be taking a look at a blunt hammer mix set. So we'll sh uh, sit there, show you what the skills are, break uh, break down where the decos lie, give you the stat sheet, and then we'll take this bad boy out for a hunt. Uh, following disclaimer, the attack uh, the attack on the crystal beard hammer is not maxed out, so I am missing five a plus five to the defense and missing a whole ten more attack. So. If you have this exact build and you're sitting there and using it you should have 395 attack with about five more defense giving uh, giving you about 852 defense this build i will be sitting there and using guild, uh, guild style it's just something that i've always done this is a very comfortable style for me so i got used to it very early on and with me playing 3u and 4u you tend to stick with what you know mine's usually preferably guild outside of the valor great sword or certain other things that i've been experimenting with on stream absolute readiness this mainly here is a i need to get out of town option or sit there and try to save you from a one shot or use it as like kind of like a gap closer in a sense if you're trying to like race damage this isn't really anything that you need with sharpness because our sharpness is going to be green all the time because of the simple fact that we're blunt spinning meteor three this technically speaking could be really anything that you really want to use i have spinning meteor three here uh you you could use like whatever you prefer in the second slot for guild or sit there and have like other styles all in total and not be using this the choice uh, choice for the style really remains up to you since this is a blunt build, we will be rock, uh, rocking ha uh, hard the good old bl uh, bludgeoner, which we are going to sit, uh, sit there and increase our attack based on how, how our sharpness levels are. Since our sharpness is going to be green, this is going to utilize bludgeoner the best. Uh, keep in mind with the Akantor video, uh, video, yes, I do realize that we sat there and did have it at blue shar uh, sharpness. Um, since then, on stream, we've like rectified that, so... Keep that in mind and do apologize for not doing an update on that video. Mind's eye, just like the Cantor uh, Greatsword, this will help us not get deflected from the simple fact that we are running such low sharpness. Uh, sharpness. We're also not going to sit there and have to worry about being carded to the simple fact that we're going to be getting those deflect animations. Very overall, nice thing to have when playing Blunt. Razor sharp, uh, sharp, with our mad big bar of green sharpness, we're also going to be sitting there and only losing half the rate of it. So, therefore, theoretically speaking, you'll never really have to sit there and worry about sharpening too much in a hunt. Overall, just super solid to have. Lets you go super long with not needing to sharpen. Very comfy. High-grade earplugs. This is the beast of comfy when it comes to this build you can take this build up against anything with earplugs and the fact that this is not only going to be your defensive comfy stat but also your offensive pre uh, pre uh, pressure with along with bludgeoner is going to help you greatly being able to sit there and use roar animations to run up and hit the monster in the fa uh, face with your hammer is such a great time or sitting there and being able to play a bit more defensively while the monster is roaring, you being able to heal is just an overall good thing to have in your back pocket. Just overall plugs, always super solid. And finally, we got Knockout King. This is just staple for any hammer or hunting horn in that sense of we're just sitting there and making it so that way it's easier for us to get those KOs in hunts i don't know if i can pull it off it's been a long a long while since i've really mained hammer pretty hard so keep in mind you might uh you might as a hammer main get more use out of this than i do <laughs> within the hunt and here's the stat uh, stat sheet keep in mind we are rocking a decent charm with the fact that we're using a ko 10 hearing four or four 
talisman. This will be your talisman for the go-to for this bit uh, for this build. Outside of that, it's not too too difficult to get, but it is something to sit there and keep an eye out while you're sitting there in charm farming. Overall, super great. With all that out of the way, let's sit there and show you where the decos lie and take this bad boy out for a hunt. In the helm, we're rocking a hearing one jewel. Chest, we're rocking a sharpness one jewel. Gloves, we're rocking a fencing one jewel and also a hearing one jewel. Waist, we're rocking a fencing jewel. And finally, to polish it all off, the boots, rocking with that good old bl uh, blunt three in the boots. The, with all that out of the way, let's go take this bad boy for a hunt. Chopping block today. Zamtrios. I have come to give you the Oonga Boonga. Come here and face the power of my hammer. I mean, like, considering the fact that these, like, hunts aren't usually ever that difficult, the point is just to sit there and be able to just show you guys the hunts while sitting there and fighting something that I can get done in a me uh, meaningful time so these videos aren't, like, too terribly long. Um, that's always been, like, my biggest concern is because, like, most times I don't... Like, you could comment down below if you actually sit there and make it to, uh, all, all the way through the hunt process. But I don't know of anybody who personally does. So, it's one of those things where it's just like, as much as I'd like to sit there and be like, oh yeah, you know, a lot of people stay for, uh, for the hunt uh, on top of that, just to see how the build sits in and plays out. Uh, most people are usually just chilling for the uh, build breakdown, sit there, look at it, be like, oh, that's really cool. Then just kind of move on. I have been thinking about sitting there and just like taking like, maybe stream highlights of us sitting there and playing it. And using that instead while I'm doing the build breakdown. But then the problem is, is like, it's not really giving us a good city, uh, like, a, a good scenario for the build in, in itself. Is it? Because it's sitting there and just us doing controlled stuff instead of showing it off the actual way of, you know. You sitting there, going, fighting the big old monster, on a, um, amigo on amigo. Ow. Was hoping not to get caught by that. Rough stuff. Oh, please, Lord. Ow. Go, fat man. By the way, anybody else, like, I've said this a ton on stream, but anybody else could probably sit there and agree, agree. If you grew up in, like, the early 90s and know about, like, street sharks, every time I see the, uh, the see Zamtrios running around, I always think of, like, that theme song sitting in my head. <laughs> Just, like, an overall great time. Him or, uh, for you's... Uh, desert version where just great hunts all in total like, He's so fun. He's such a unique monster it, It's it's just a pleasure like, I, I really I really hope they do rise Justice and sit there and actually come out and tell us What the uh, other stances are for with hammer, but since we're da uh, stance dancing back and forth, I don't think we're gonna, ever gonna get told specifically what's going on with that. I'm short. I snuck in the pile of snow. The Zamites can go away, they're annoying. The only bad thing about the fight is that you're usually having Zamites dealing with you. And for all those that, like, come and stop by on Twitch, uh, 
I didn't notice my one uh, app piece that sits on my channel, a channel that helps keep up with the schedule, is like super out of date. So, I do apologize. We'll definitely get that changed a a a ASAP. Because that's an easy way for anybody to keep, uh, that's hanging out to uh, follow the schedule. Sit there and figure out when we go live. Uh, cause of that lip. That lip is stupid. That lip always just, just gets me. And there's certain monsters, I swear to God, are like resistant to KO. Give me a gun with that, please. Ah, fine. I don't want to be hit with that. Just gonna use this right now. Oh, of course you run away. Do that was satisfying. <laughs> no roll for you. I didn't think that a uh, spinning meteor would do that. That's dope. God, that was satisfying. <laughs> Talk about the cream of the crop, the unga bunga power itself. One hundred, one hundred percent nothing but unga bunga. The, the, uh, ice balls. That was a really delayed re uh, thought reaction for me. Keep in mind too, like, hammer taxes you a lot on, uh... That hammer, like, taxes you a lot on your stamina. And this fight specifically sitting there and draining, uh, draining your stamina so hard, it's kind of rough at times. It's just classic yield hammer. Like it does its job well. I mean, you, you play multiplayer and you sit there and you get into the bigger hunts, and as long as you're able to head snipe it really well, you're, you're doing a lot of like KO damage and stuff. Um, the only thing I would would recommend, and that's because I haven't done this for a while on the sets that we have done live is make sure if you're using guild style always have uh, absolute readiness paired with it being on an sp mode just so that way you can get the faster eating off you can sit there and recover a hell of a lot quicker with that mode on versus not sitting there and having it because then you're kind of left, left with like a slower eating and that's just no bueno Just not good for anyone. Oh, I didn't want you to punch me in the face, you jerk. I'm gonna do the 360 thing, there you are. Rude. Okay, now I can use this. Like even even right now I'm having to sit there and watch my windows and stuff and sit there and figure out just exactly when I can get away with a heal and when I can't. So the SP mode for guild super handy helps a ton. Turn around, please. Damn it! Fell short because he flinched too far back. Street shocks. <laughs> That's all that I have in my head is every time you go underground. Got the KO. Let's go. Let's hype. 
doing my thing. Do you ever feel like whacking a monster in the head? Grab a hammer. Golf swing them a couple of times. It's a great time. You ever sit there and feel, uh, feel like you're annoyed by a monster because he's sitting, uh, sitting there and roaring at you too much? Just grab your plugs. Also, a great time. Come on. Rush damage, rush damage. Pushed him into fat mode. Let's go. And, and for those that are new to uh, GU as a whole, a whole, or just this monster as a whole, he actually can die when like this, and he stays, uh, he stays inflated. It's actually really funny. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it is super hilarious when you get those. Most commonly, you're gonna get them with multiplayer, unless you just really practice hard and really just enjoy this hunt in single player and you just do it a ton. Outside of just fun times. I do miss like subspecies as a whole and I can't, I can't state this enough. I really want subspecies to come back. Like if I have to say anything, it'd be like, cash tag bring back subspecies. But uh, overall, Am I hyped for a new Monster Hunter? Hell yeah. Always hyped for that. A little bit of background. Um, if you've been playing the game since way back when in 2005 on your PSP, you, you, you always get super hyped hearing the music for your first zone ever in the game. Like, regardless of if it's the uh i think it's the forest and hills in later games that they use it as um but regardless of it's that if it's the frozen zones from freedom 2 or if it's some of the other zones from one of the later games in the franchise you're, you're just you're just going to have a great time um i have to take a gamble here is that in two Nine or six. Go out here. That's right, can't you get wrecked? That's nice. Don't care. I'll keep golf swinging. I have 360, I think. Yep. Ah, I tried absolute readiness through that. Did not work. No bueno on that one. Rip. All right, come on. There's the gulp. Okay, but hold on. Let me inflate and eat you. 360? Yeah, 360. Damn it. Damn, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Ripperoni and cheese. That's also a rock. Awkward time to eat. Let me out of your belly. No, I don't want to be eaten alive. You dirty turd. I give you the unga bunga. Take my rock that I put on a stick. I mean, like, honestly, the, tra the even the transmog that I'm rocking you just represent unga bunga really well. It just makes me feel like he just found a shiny rock and sat there and put it onto a stick. Actually, the biggest improvement would be me getting the freaking Ergen, uh, 
Ergan Palliums, but you know, can't be lucky on that one. It's like monster flinchbacks in this game have always been a pain in my ass. Like, I, I just I find they flinch back so far. I'm just like, damn, man. I want to like capitalize on it really hard And then most times I'm like nope denied No, no limping eh? It's fine. We'll give you the unga bunga Yeah, you're not eating Smash Oh, that's still satisfying. No thanks, bro. I don't want to be stuck up against a wall with a shark. Also, for those that don't know, and I should have probably stated this earlier, um, some of the stuff when you're sitting there and going through and like playing out hammer, um, side roll and it's gonna save you a ton of time not waiting for him or like not waiting for your hunter to pick up the uh, the uh hammer itself oh there's a kezu in here as well that just became a bad pain if i was gonna rise it'd be a beneficial and i'd be like hey hey Guess what? I found another mounting target. Chasm took off. I was being extra careful there because of the Kezu, but he took off, so that'll work to our benefit. Mm, golf swing. Think of this weapon. It's your good old Happy Gilmore. Monster Hunter. You just walk around trying to golf, uh, hit golf balls and monsters at the same time. Now that I think about it, Sam Trios kind of looks like a giant golf ball right now. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> Quickly, come here. I need to swing. Orders. Oh sweet, and we got the kill for him being in a bigger state. Nice. Well, with all that uh, out of the way, definitely thank you uh, guys so much for wa watching. Uh, definitely comment uh, comment down uh, down below if you sat there and have enjoyed the unga bunga. And until next uh, next time, YouTube. Peace.